Welcome back. We are now joined by the director of Safe Harbor Victim Assistance Program, De Deanne Rader. Deanne, how are you? I'm well. Thanks for having me. Yes. Of course. So tell us first off, okay, what is the Safe Harbor Victim Assistance Program? What do people need to know about it? Okay, so we are an organization that helps people that are caught in domestic violence situations. We also deal with uh, sexual assault and elder abuse and things like that. But the most part of what we do has to do with domestic violence. And so, how do you help people? Well, a couple of things. One is that if someone wants to get an order of protection, then mm. they come to us and we help write those up. Mm. Um, another thing is that we try to provide shelter for those that are trying to get out of those relationships mm -hmm. and they have to have a place to go because mm -hmm. that's one of the largest barriers to escaping is that you know, they've got to get out of the house yeah. and, and there's no place to go. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. Now, now, oh, sorry. I was just going to say, if you're a person of, you know, wealth, that's not such a big challenge. But right. most people can't do that as easily. And also in those situations, they tend to be isolated. They, you know, some abusers don't even allow their victim to work because mm. it, it lets them have too many resources and, and, and connection yeah. with yeah. other people. They really like to isolate their victims. Mm. So. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people are in a good position to just jump out of a, the relationship. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. definitely, it's just an awful position to be in. So speaking of shelter, so we understand you guys are kind of um, in the in the process of trying to get a shelter created yes. out in Webster County, kind of Marshall area where you're based out of. Right. Um, and you have some different efforts happening to make uh, this become a dream or a reality. So yes, tell me yes. about that a little bit. Okay, so uh, most people are familiar with Harmony House in Springfield, mm -hmm. and then Lebanon has Cope, and you know a lot of count counties have their own, you know, shelter. Yeah. Webster County has nothing. We're the organization, but we don't have an actual facility. Mm. So we have two houses that we're renting that we can put people in, but that limits the capacity and also the kind of help that we can give. We want to be able to do parenting classes and life skills and counseling and all that kind of thing. So um, what we're doing is we are our fundraiser to, to get this going yeah. is we are raffling off a 2022 Dodge Challenger black on black. It's going to be a very sweet car if anyone likes muscle There's cars and it's also the last year Dodge is making them. And that will be raffled off at our Oktoberfest event. You see the flyer there. There's the Challenger flyer. Um, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's going to be really fun. It's $25 a ticket, and that might sound a little high, but it's for a really good cause. And um, look at that car, wouldn't you? Just <laughs> oh, right. Now, this you guys is happening. look great in this car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And this is happening at an event then? Yes, the Oktoberfest will be at Webster County Fairgrounds in Marshfield on October 22nd. So. What else can we expect from that event? Oh, there's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have, of course, beer and brats because you have to have that for an Oktoberfest. I think it's the I law. I think so. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but we'll have face painting and activities for the kids, and I think we might have Dunk It Up Yudi, so, you know, Ooh. get revenge on someone who maybe wrote you a ticket or something. Uh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think Blake has a few tickets oh in his pocket. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, that sounds amazing. Now, okay, also tell us, so October is just right around the corner, and that is Domestic Violence yes. Awareness Month. Yes. So we want to talk a little bit about maybe what are some of the warning signs people should know about or look for in relationships? Okay, so um, if you are in a relationship and the other person is constantly going, let me see your phone. Who are you texting? What are you doing? Mm. That's a warning sign. You should be able to have the independence to make your own decisions mm -hmm. without someone looking over your shoulder all the time. Or people that want you to maybe give you an allowance mm -hmm. of money that you can spend. Um, basically, um, just controlling your every move mm -hmm. or who you talk to or excessive jealousness. You know, those are kind of warning signs. Mm -hmm. Now, are you seeing a big need in Webster County? Huge need. What yes. are the stats yes. there? Uh, you know, I don't have specific Webster mm -hmm. County stats, but I can tell you that it seems like just about every day we get a call for someone that needs shelter mm. and we have to turn them away oh, yeah. because ours are full. So. Yeah. so, yeah, tell us how people can find more information about your event and uh, the raffle and everything okay. that you do. They can get a ticket and also find more information about our organization at safeharbormo.org. Okay. Right. So. Thank, thank you so, so much, much for, for being here. Thank you for having me. All right. Well,